Hey everyone, I want to walk you through some instructions for your last post on the website project that we've been working on all semester. So you can see here, uh, I'm in website review four's instructions. And as you get down, um, you'll see all of these instructions here that talk about your last post. So part of it's going to be a summary of your experience, which you, you know, will have that information based off of what you've done all semester. But then I have a couple of questions here that ask you to look into your statistics and your analytics um, to get an idea of what uh, was most popular that you worked on all semester. So we just finished talking about data and how data can help uh, tell stories so we can learn from data, obviously, and I want you to learn a little bit from your data uh, in the project this semester. So I asked, what was your most popular week? How many views, visitors did you get that week? Uh, what was your most popular post of the semester? Were there any surprises in the data to you? So we'll go through that. And then um, I need you to go through your Twitter analytics, which every Twitter user has access to analytics. Uh, so we'll go through those. So let's go into WordPress. And I am here on the School of Journalism and Mass Communications blog, uh, which we run through WordPress. Uh, so if you come to the reader page, you'll need to go to my stats in order to see your stats. Um, so you can see I have access to stats here. Um, you can also get stats if you use the WP admin look um, and you cl uh, click on site stacks right there. So you have a couple of different options in terms of viewing the statistics. Um, so you can see here this is denoted by the day, um, but that's not what, uh, what we're asking for. So we're asking you for what was your most popular week? Uh, now, you're probably only going to have posts from, you know, early or mid-January on, okay? Um, we post pretty consistently, so uh, it makes sense that we have analytics throughout the year. So, uh, for you, you'll probably have a lot of blanks over here, and then you'll have posts through there. So, if we're just counting this semester, it looks like this week in particular was our most popular week. So, you can see I can get views and visitors from there. Uh, but also because I clicked on it, now down here it's given me an idea of which post might have actually spurred that. So it doesn't automatically guarantee this is going to be the most popular post, but it gives you a pretty good idea. I'll show you another way to find that here in just a second. So um, Professor John Zemickley being named the Assistant Director of the Media Innovation Lab uh, spurred on that big week. You can see we had a really big week back in December. If we click on that, um, that was spurred on uh, by a big grant we got to continue our PH Digital Boot Camp, uh, which got a lot of traffic. So um, that's how you can look at uh, your visitors and views for weeks. Um, you could also do it by months if you wanted to, which again, you're probably not going to have much here other than a couple of months. Uh, but what I'd suggest you do is go to years. Um, and this is where you can get your total traffic because again, you're probably only working from January, uh, 2019 on anyway. Um, so you can see here this year, we've had 2,268 views, uh, uh from 978 visitors. Uh, we've only published six times. Um, you'll have 10 or nine, I guess at this point, uh, when you do that. And then if you click down here on posts and pages, uh, you might be able to do quarter because that's looking back 90 days, but in your sense, you probably just want to click on year and this will show you what your most popular posts of the year have been. So don't get confused by this. This is the homepage. Uh, all the rest of these are posts though. Uh, so here was that, uh, PH digital bootcamp post. Um, and we could continue going down and seeing all of those. So, um, you can get a better sense of what did well on your site, how many people viewed it, um, and uh, things like that. So it's interesting to go back and look at the data and see uh, what exactly you've done. So I'm still here in the year 2019. Now we can start to look for surprises, uh, which I'm not going to have as many surprises here because I have a more traditional... Uh, content site here, but you might get some surprises that go along with that. Um, you can see that uh, none of this really is that big of a surprise because those were all posts that probably did well. Um, I don't see any search terms that were necessarily a big surprise. 
Um, let's see if we click on that. Nope, that's all we got. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, it might be a little bit of a deal that we got some traffic in South Africa. Um, that's a little surprise. Uh, we got some visits from the Philippines. We got some visits from the UK. Uh, so that might be the biggest of surprises. Um, but other than that, not many surprises on SJMC. But hopefully you'll have uh, a few surprises to uh, find out uh, on your site. Um, the last thing I want to show you is Twitter analytics. Um, and so I'm going to go back over here and I might have to log into Twitter. Okay. Uh, so once you get into your Twitter account, if you click on your little, I, I would highly advise you do this on a desktop or a laptop. Um, if you click on your little profile icon right here and click on analytics, it's going to take you to month by month your analytics. Uh, so you can see so far for April, my top tweet was a tweet I did yesterday, and that's in terms of impressions about Lucy. Uh, my top mention, this was somebody who wrote about me and mentioned my name, or as a student who was listening to our South by panel who mentioned my name. Uh, my top media tweet is uh, one that included a picture or a GIF or a video. Um, and here was my top follower for the month. You can see I tweeted 19 times. Um, I gained six new followers, had profile visits, so on and so forth. So you can go by month and look at this um, and get all of your statistics month by month for that. And these are free and any user uh, on Twitter can go through and do this. So go through and get the information that you need uh, for your last post. Take a look at the data, see what you find. Um, and see if you can find anything interesting in there.